hi, it's Megan. So I will admit that sometimes I'm a little bit of a makeup snob. Um, I have that belief that some of the really cheap brands aren't going to deliver as high quality a product as some of the more expensive brands. And sometimes it's true. There are some brands on the high end that are just so amazing and blow it out of the park all the time, but there are also some brands on the lower end like Maybelline or L'Oreal or whatever who also consistently blow it out of the ballpark and just deliver these products that are fabulous. And I remember reading probably in Vogue years ago that some of the lower end brands have more money to put for development of products so they can actually do a higher quality product. So I read about a company called Coastal Sense on a beauty blog and the past couple days they've had 50% off their whole website but we're talking cheap makeup here and a lot of it's from China and uh, I'm not an expert on Coastal Sense but doing research on the internet some of the comments were that it aggregates products from overseas and there's not consistent quality um, but overall the reviews on the site are shockingly positive. So right before this Black Friday sale, so today is December 2nd, over the weekend and through the end of today, everything on the site is 50% off, and I don't doubt they'll have a lot of great sales later too. Um, they had a special offer. You got the 88 palette, which is 88 colors. You got the blush palette, blush 2, 10 blushes, and you got 22 brushes, 22 brushes, it's like this whole huge long thing, I can't even fit it in the camera, for $29.95. The shipping is expensive, I think the shipping I paid was like $9 or $10, so that's a bit of a problem, but they gave me a credit of 2 or $3, so my shipping ended up being like $7, I don't know why they gave me a credit, it was just, I don't know, a new purchase or something in my account or whatever, but they just automatically gave me the discount, and it comes in a really pretty pink box like this. And it just arrived over the weekend, otherwise I would have done the review before. I'm just kind of shifting as I move all this big stuff out of the way. So what did I think? I got all this product for like $35. Was it worth it? And that was my issue. And as I've been looking at the 50% off sale, I've been saying, well gosh, I have, if you see my videos, I have enough makeup. Do I really want to spend more on some cheap stuff that's not going to be good? I have some outdoor swatches just so you can see the colors in the natural light, but with 88 colors, there's no way I could swatch all of them. Even with the blushes with the 10, I didn't try. This is what it looks like. You have some crazy colors. Purple, this orange. What I used was that one right there. It's kind of like a peachy, I don't know, it had a rough texture on it, which I guess is a little bit of shimmery, glimmery. I used the peach kind of on my cheeks. And I didn't blend too, too much because I wanted you to see the colors. And then I used this color as a bronzer. So you got two that are kind of bronzer-ish. This one's a little orange, I think. This one's a good color as a bronzer. And I kind of worked that into kind of my little three thing that I do. And uh, this color I love. This color I love. They, with the cheaper makeups, sometimes I've been amazed and blown away. Sometimes I've thought the colors were just horrific. They looked okay in the pan, but then when I put them on, they were just so artificial. It just made me cringe. I actually did a video not knowing if I should actually go ahead and do the video because I thought something was so horrible. So of these colors, I would say well over half of them are flattering and really wearable. They do chalk up a little bit, they do require a little bit of blending, but honestly the quality on these is pretty friggin great. It's not the best I've seen, but given that this palette I think right now is like $7 on the website, maybe $8, um, for this price these are awesome, they're amazing. And I don't always like cheap makeup. If you ever want to play with purple blush, it actually is quite flattering with blue eyes and blonde hair. Um, I was at a Space NK today and I was looking at a crazy colored NARS blush and they were saying someone like me with the blonde hair and blue eyes was probably the only type of person who could wear it. Try the purple, it might work. The orange, it's not going to work on me, but it might work on someone with maybe really dark skin. Um, but the rest of them, not loving this one, but the rest of them really will work on just about anyone. Amazing buy. And the packaging, cute, sleek, it actually works. I use this blush brush. 
this bronzer, bronzer brush um, that Space NK they showed me if you take a crazy color and use a really big brush you can kind of dust it on so light it doesn't look so crazy. I did not need to do that to get a very natural looking cheek. It was worth it. The next thing is the 88 palette. So this I guess was hot for like a nanosecond. I missed it. All these colors. And I wanted to do an eye look that wasn't crazy because obviously if you buy something like this you can do something you know just off the charts crazy but I wanted to show that it was wearable so right now I think this palette's about nine dollars regularly it's about eighteen what I did and I, again I have natural light swatches but I didn't even try to swatch all of them I just tried to show a couple representative colors some natural some wild colors they're very pigmented they do chalk up like with the blushes but they blend beautifully and I think the pigments on these are fabulous. I did a look with an eyeshadow primer. I wouldn't even try without it. Um, I took kind of this light bone one out here. I wanted to do a really natural look. I took this taupe. I always think of these as kind of grayish browns but that's not really what it is. It's more taupe. And I did. So I did the bone up here. My brushes. I did the bone up here like this. I did the taupe that I showed right here. I'm looking at my little where I can see how I look. I did the taupe right here on the lid and then up into the crease a little bit. Then I took a little, sort of a liner brush, and I took a darker shade a brown right there to show can, can these work as liners given that they cost a little. And I line my eyes with it wet and you can see yes they work beautifully as a liner. And then I took a darker taupe right there and I worked it into the crease down into the lower line all the way across. So I'd done the darker one just in the outer part which on my eyes is what works. I look too harsh if I do the darker all the way. Then I took the lighter one and blended it here, blended it up. This one is more a natural look. Here to show you that these wild colors really do work, I took this bright bright red. For some reason I'm fascinated by red eyeshadow. I took a bright red eyeshadow and I worked it into the crease like this and then in down like this and it gives kind of you see a cool neutral look here and here you just kind of warm it up. I warmed it up a little bit with the red. So uh, I could play with this all day. If you like to play, I uh, increasingly adamantly believe that makeup is a really great creative outlet. When we grow up, we don't really have a lot of time in life where we get to play and be creative. With makeup, especially with a palette like this, you get to play, you get to be creative. Um, so I think, given that I paid $30, let's go back to the, the brushes. When I get done with this video, I'm actually gonna go back online and buy more brushes, because I bought this brush set for my daughter. She really wanted a great brush set. And I thought, well, for what I'm paying, she can play with all this stuff, she's really young. Um, just started to wear makeup. These brushes are fabulous. Okay, they're not the best brushes I've ever used, but um, they're absolutely fabulous. They do everything they need to do. They, uh, for the price point, you get to play around with different types of brushes and just uh, see what you like and what works. And if you want to buy a higher quality brush, great. But you can use these for a little while and then just move on to higher quality brushes as you can afford them. I can't afford a big set like this. It's just not possible. But for these are like $10 right now. For $10, this is a steal. Overall, I love this site. I'm going to be going back on the site today and taking one more look. Some of the sets are sold out, but a lot of times the individual items add up to the same amount as the set. And um, they're available. So overall, this was fabulous. Really, really a great find. I won't be using these products every day, but when I want to play around, I will absolutely use the look. So please subscribe. Please provide feedback. I know that this brand has kind of mixed feedback online, even on their sites. site. Almost all the reviews are positive. But if you have comments, I'd love to hear it because I might buy more and I'd like to hear what you've experienced first. Um, I make videos for my book, Get Your Child to the Top which is a parent-focused education book. And I think I said please subscribe. Happy holidays. And that's it. Take care.